Here we have an Audi R8 radio controlled car and we're going to unbox it, put it all together and then take it out for a rip. Oh, check it out guys, what do you reckon? I reckon it looks absolutely epic. Problem is, there's actually nothing inside it. So here, we have some insides. This one here is four wheel drive, this one here is two wheel drive. Seeing the Audi R8 Actually, four-wheel drive, I think we should use the four-wheel drive chassis. Oh, check it out, guys. We have a powerful brushless motor. So now, all that we have to do is get this body on wheels, fit it onto there, and hopefully it's going to work. Oh. What? How's that supposed to fit on there? That looks like a completely different fitment. I don't know. I don't know. So let's give my buddy Jason at Redfin Models a little ring and see if he has a solution. Hello. Hello. My wheels don't fit. Oh. Ah. All right, dude. Thank you. So the problem is this is supposed to be for a two-wheel drive chassis and I'm trying to fit it onto a four-wheel drive chassis. And the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drives have got different wheels. Now, I want to have this on the four-wheel drive chassis because the R8 in the real world is four-wheel drive. Then over here, we have a Dodge, is it a Hellcat or a Demon? Wide body, one of the two. In the real world, they are two-wheel drive. And on there it says it's for a four-wheel drive chassis. So I've got a two-wheel drive chassis here. And I want to make that one two-wheel drive, just so it's more authentic. So, what we've got to do on this one is get some four-wheel drive wheels, and hopefully then it's all going to fit. So if we unbox this one, then maybe these wheels are going to fit on there, and then those wheels from this one are going to fit on that one. Oh, check this out, guys. How epic does that look? This is actually one of my dream cars. Get the wheels off. Hopefully that's just a little pull. Yes. And then this wheel now should fit on here. On. Off you come, off you come, come off, Jesus. <laughs> Boom. So next we've got to try and make the body fit and then we've got to see if the car works. Boom! <laughs> Check it out guys, that fits on there absolutely perfectly. Look at that, four-wheel drive. And just check out how realistic it looks. It almost looks exactly like the real Audi R8. So just like on the real car, we have suspension front and rear, working front and rear differentials. And hopefully, with it being brushless, it's going to be really fast. So next, we need a controller. I'm going to use this car show controller here. Got the receiver here. Somehow, I've got to figure out how to put it in there. So that, does that just clip on there? And that's it. Is that it? We've got these tiny little connections on there, and does that plug onto there? And then is there a way of holding it down? Hmm. So Jason said to me you have to do some special setup thing on this to get it to go right, so I don't want to ruin it, so let's head over to Redfin Models, get him to set it up, have a look to see what he's got in his shop, and then we'll take it out for a rip. Hey, step in the house. What? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Where are we, Stem? Hi! Red Bin! Hey! Hey, we got Pete back in the house. We got Jason in the house. And we got Mini Zeds. <laughs> oh, what you got here, Jace? Uh, it's an SMT10 that we just decided to build. There's something missing up there. Yes. <laughs> Zoomy headers, yet? Yeah. The real monster's yeah. gonna get those. Put up V8 rumbling. Wheelie or anything? Oh, nice. Oh, it's the old <laughs> So the expert is hopefully going to get it running for us. So while Jason's having a little look, let's have a look at his mini Z collection. Check these out, guys. Here's the one we've got. we got that one as well. Got all these different ones. And down here, look, got a load of upgrades, wheels and tyres and stuff like that. Pop that in there. Is there some sort of a clamp that clips it on? There is, there's one in the packet. If you listen, it's got a little... 
Oh, Stempy's impressed. I am. But where would you start? <laughs> oh, I haven't got a clue where you start with that. <laughs> That's called a DWS rear suspension conversion. Converts it from like these little sort of tube things oh, like yes. that to like a proper double wishbones with little springs. The little pinion on there, plastic pinion, yes. the first time the motor heats up properly, yeah. It, because it's not the tightest fit, it'll eventually slide forward like it wants to come off. Yeah. This will stop it coming off, and then that will weld to that. A metal pinion on there makes it so much cooler than yeah. the job done. Have you got any? Yes. Over to the spare parts department. I think it'd be that one. Oh, hold on, let, let me fit it. I can do it really quickly, ready? Yeah. Boom! Oh there we go, metal pinion gear on there. <laughs> really so now, I think we have to put yeah, cover on and bind it to that. Mm. Ooh! Fits, just fits a little bit nicer. Like a glove. Oh, oh, spares. Look what Jason just showed us. So, mm. what are these called? It's called a D Nano. And compared to a Mini Z. And they're car show as well, aren't they? Yeah. And you can't get them anymore. Yeah. So, how much is that one worth? Mm, six to seven hundred pounds, I'd say that one. Oh, that's like a thousand dollars. What the hell is that? That looks like a robot. Uh, well, so that is for this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said that in a very manly voice. There he is. That goes with that. Bloody hell. Ridiculous, isn't it? How much is this thing worth? 400 maybe? Oh, so this is actually worth more? Yes. That's mad. Well, um, just between the board. Oh, they snap off the board? Yeah, they literally uh, do. What so, about the motor? Do they all snap off of there? No, it's plug in the reprogrammed at ECU is it? Yep. Or power. There you go, so it says read complete, so this is your existing settings. Right. So you can program how much torque it's got here around the centre point. So you just set it up how you would set it up. Full power! So now we're happy with all of those. And does that mean we can now rip? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Oh, that's some fast steering, isn't it? Wheel nuts. Whoa! Right, I reckon we should get into the cup then. Awesome, dude. So in a minute, we're going to take it racing. But first, I've got these lipos here to put in it that should make it go faster. What? How did these come out of here? What? Whose idea was it to put batteries there? What? How are you supposed to get out of there? Ah, like that. So these batteries here are 1.2 volts. The lipos are 3.7 volts. So we're going to put in two lipos and two dummy batteries. These is just a tube. There's nothing in there. So we're going to put the dummy ones in the bottom. And now we never got to go in there again. Then we can put the lipos on the easy to access sites. And I'm probably not even going to bother with this cover. So controller on, car on. All right, here we go. Oh, God, that drive's lovely. <laughs> so next, let's go racing. All right, so here we are yeah, on location. We've got Greg in the house, and Greg is going to be cameraman, and we're going to take this on the track for the first time and see how good it's going to do. Dead in the house. Oh, then we've got to that out. We've got racing tyres. All right, that on there. The concentration. <laughs> Gonna win. A man of hidden talents. Bloody hell. <laughs> this one is undrivable, so the expert is hopefully gonna make it drivable. <clears throat> is it, does it need to go on the computer? Is that pulled over there? Yeah. Hey, can you set this car up, please? Yes. Yes. We're going to the ECU programming department. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, so now with Jason having set it all up, we can have a race. Three, two, one, go. So this is the, what's it called? D-Nano. A D-Nano by Kosho. 
And it's tiny, look at that, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that about 20% power, you said? Yeah, it's awesome, that's too high. Look at him, he's loving it. That's what RC's all about, big it smile is. on his face. It is. That, knows it, that means you're doing it right. If you've got a big smile on your face, you're doing it right. So Stempy has the Celica GT4 Mini Z. This is just a normal ready set one. Go on, Stempy, give us your best twist. Now I've got the form in front of the camera. Jason has a brand spanker Nano. Brand new, never ran. Yeah. So that's his maiden voyage. That's it. Has he even got a gyro? Yeah. That's mad. Lipos, gyro, and they're old things as well. Cryo show, make them again, they're cool. Brand spanker. How much is it worth? So we're, for that little car there, we're talking about a thousand dollars then. No one's allowed to crash into it. So there, <laughs> we've got an electric bike. Stenfield's never rode one. Come on, Steg, get your leg over. Is he off? <laughs> Steps off. Oh no, I'm, oh no, I'm going to fall off. What's accelerate? That's all right, it won't stop, will it? It'll just go. Well, oh, now I'll cut the motor. Give us full power then. <laughs> <laughs>